I have with me Gary Howard. He's a data center architect with Intel. Gary, thank you very much for joining us today. Thank you, yeah. Um, Gary, I want to talk about power and thermal aware scheduling today. Now that this, you mentioned this in the uh, kind of a final portion of your presentation, uh, what are the benefits of the approach and at what layers of the data center is, uh, is it implemented in? Okay, yeah. It's a new concept for us, you know, as far as Intel, that is one of the uh, key things that our data center group is working on. And it really initiated from discussions with um, a lot of the work that we do with Internet Portal data centers, as well as a huge uh, IT department that we have within Intel. So we uh, have taken some ideas that we gained from uh, external customers, as well as input from uh, experts that are within Intel that are supporting that environment. And we're trying to make better decisions on how we could leverage information at the server layer to help with uh, infrastructure management. So um, what, what kinds of metrics can you collect at the server or platform level? Yeah, well, surprisingly, that's something that a lot of data center owners don't know, you know. But uh, as far as managing the data center, there's things that happen at the workload level, such as uh, metrics around CPU consumption, uh, memory consumption, uh, input-output consumption that is usually aggregated using some uh, vendor purchase tool uh, that does capacity planning. And then the data center owner um, usually has to take that information and analyze it separately and also uh, possibly look at information that the facilities team is collecting uh, using uh, different building management tools. And often there are multi multiple uh, building management tools that are used to collect uh, the facilities infrastructure information. So to aggregate that all in one central repository is, is a tremendous effort to get done today. Um, what, what is happening in processor technology today that um, has the potential to further improve power and thermal aware scheduling? Well, one of the things that we've been doing for uh, a long period of time within Intel is trying to optimize our processors that we, uh, that we manufacture to be the, the most energy efficient processors that are out there today. And that's what they are. And we made tremendous achievements as far as lowering uh, the voltage that, uh, or the power consumption rather, that is, uh, our, our processes uh, produce and consume. And so with power thermal aware scheduling, we're trying to take that to the next level because there are metrics that are captured at the server level or the system level, such as, um, for instance, there are sensors within the server that collect uh, the input temperature, the intake temperature, as well as the exhaust temperature. There, uh, there's technology embedded into our platforms that is able to collect other information, such as power consumption, uh, that is happening within the server, right? And as, um, as I mentioned before, you know, the server has always been able to capture uh, processor and memory and I.O. utilization. So um, power, aware, power thermal aware scheduling is, is a effort to aggregate all of that information for our user environment, right? And to be able to um, then run analytics on that aggregated information and make dynamic decisions as far as uh, managing the data center. Um, and for instance is the ability to be able to migrate a workload based on uh, information collected at the server level that says, okay, the temperature within this environment has exceeded uh, your ability to be able to run a greater workload uh, in this particular area. And you can then migrate that to another area within a data center that might have the capacity to do that because it's cooler in that environment. And then additionally, information could be taken from those analytics to drive the um, infrastructure, the facilities infrastructure to spin down a cooling unit if it's not needed or to spin it up if it is needed uh, for a greater workload. So all of those things we believe could be better managed uh, by the server if it was aggregated and then there was some type of uh, tool that ran analytics on it that provided information back to the user better than it's been done today. And that's where we are with that. <clears throat> uh, what kinds of things is Intel doing, just can you give us some more details on what you guys are doing um, to kind of push for the development of power thermal aware scheduling? Well, what, what we're trying to do is really leverage uh, off all of the things that 
we've made a part of our technology, our, our processor technology, right? And Power Thermal West scheduling really takes advantage of some of the things like, for instance, power management. No manager is a technology that we leverage now today on our servers, and we've been doing that for a while, that we first uh, initiated with our client uh, devices, right? Power management at the client level. We then took that into the server. And so uh, another technology that we develop, or software technology that we have that is that actually manages uh, information like no, uh, no manager or power management is something called Data Center Manager that is um, a software development package that you can get from Intel that will allow you to aggregate all of the information that's collected at the server level. And we've even expanded it to go outside the server and be able to uh, collect metrics on things such as UPS, PDU, and all the other infrastructure equipment that is part of the data center that must be maintained. Gary, thank you very much. All right, thank you.